Especially with that coming back and getting Bill Cosby, coming back and getting Puff. I don't believe in that, man. When shit go down, speak on that shit right then or it's out of there. It should be null and void. You shouldn't even have no type of nothing. You, should be, you shouldn't be able to do shit unless you motherfucker. Let the people know what happened immediately. It should be a time limit on this shit. What happened was you was trying, you got around them up and stand up on love shit. This is what happened. I'm going to tell you what always happened, right? You was with a billionaire with all this bread all this time. And then you went, followed your heart to with a trainer. That motherfucker. Apartment got smiled in the bitch. That lifestyle fell off. Now it's struggle time. The love wearing off. And now you trying to come up with ways to figure out how to get paid. What's up, everybody? This is the world famous Ed Lover. And you are watching Forgotten Kings TV. That's right. Forgotten Kings TV. Come on, son. You ain't got to agree with me. That's cool. But I don't, at the end of the day, I stand on Bill. This lady talking about it. When Don Lemon asked her, hey, hey man, why you ain't just bite him? He, you, how you get raped and had to give a dude some head? She say, oh, I was stoned. I didn't think of that. I didn't think of that. Get the fuck out of here, man. All that shit ain't real. All that shit ain't real. That's cap. I ain't wrong. You wrong. All right, cool. I'm, I'm what, like I say, I've been sued for shit I know I ain't do, and I know the victim know I ain't do it. So I look at shit different than y'all. So whatever you believe, believe, I understand. You can think what you want to think, Brittany. Go on, whatever y'all want to think. At the end of the day, I know what the real is. Y'all just too green and think everything a motherfucker say is real. People see money and trying to get money, man. The end of the day, that's what that is, man. Straight up like that. Did I settle? What that mean? I don't know what that mean. I'm, if I was so from experience, would I be saying this shit? Did I not say, hey, if he did something, do say something about it. I ain't saying them, ain't nothing happened. But it don't take no five years to be saying no shit about some shit. Trying to get money. That's money. Get the fuck out of here, man. Y'all are too lame if you believe that shit. So everyone just lying about what? The fact she went to the attorney to sue instead of the police to report a crime don't sound like a victim. It sounds like I want some money. Money. Get out the lame shit. Y'all green as fuck if y'all think these people is really worried about anything but money. So fuck, snap out of it, man. With Bill Cosby, all this shit is money grab. Straight up like that. I don't give a damn about going on no blogs. I come on here and, and speak to y'all directly, the people I care about. You know what I'm saying? The rest of them motherfuckers who come and go, I don't give a fuck about y'all. Just like y'all talking down. Y'all ain't buying my albums. Y'all ain't putting no money in my pockets. I don't give a damn about y'all motherfucking the paint. I don't work for nobody either, so you motherfucking can't cancel me. <laughs> I don't, that's why I strategically don't work for you motherfuckers, so you can't cancel me. <laughs> But if you lame enough to not understand that there's a lot of money grabbing in this shit, you stupid. That's on you. And God bless you. <laughs> I'm gonna go, give me some money. You hurt my, you abused me, pay me. Oh, we, oh, you gave me my money? The direct, the direct deposit hit? Oh, we good, we fixed that. We healed. Oh Lord, we healed. We not hurt no more. The direct deposit hit, we healed. Oh my God. And I'm corny and lame because I believe it's a money grab. Get the fuck out of here, man. <laughs> Soon as that direct deposit hit, everything think, oh, I'm good now. We straight. I ain't gotta go to therapy no more. <laughs> I ain't got no skills. That's why I come over here and talk shit. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> straight up like that. I'm me. I live a real life, baby. I don't I don't fake shit. So it is what it is. She settled in a quick than a motherfucker. If you believe that that's abuse, you lame, man. You not you not you be, you must live in a motherfucking a town of a thousand people I ain't never seen no street shit happen. You don't know what scamming is. <laughs> you don't know what a scam is. 
I'm closed-minded and limited with empathy. It could be. It could be. But let me tell you how I got there. I've been sued for something from a dude who he know I didn't do nothing to him. I've been sued. And he know I didn't touch him, but he knew I had the bag, though. A dude I put on. A dude I put money in his pockets. So I know how this go. If you lame enough to believe that everybody got your best interest at, at heart, you lame. And that's on you. If you believe that. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. What? I, I, we, we different. So I might not have the empathy you have. But at the end of the day, like I said, if he did something, I, I, did he do it or not? I'm not saying he didn't do it. All I'm saying is why take five years to say this shit or do whatever you're going to do? Or if it was an issue, why you ain't go to the police instead of the fucking suing the nigga? You know what I'm saying? That's all I'm saying. So, you know, at the end of the day, man, I stand on what I said, man. Like, I ain't care about these goofy-ass blogs. That's why I erase this shit. Every time I talk to y'all, I kind of know they try to come up with shit and make a nigga sound like a like crazy. I don't give a damn about nobody. I'm straight up. Good, man. I'm on the beach. I'm on the beach, man. This is the coat, man. I care about y'all, man. If you in the coat, I care about you. If you ain't in the coat, I don't have no daughters. I'm not sympathy. I'm not a person who talks with sympathy. What was her mother and friend? Right. What was it? I, how do I sound crazy? I don't sound... I'm telling you what the fuck. This is... See, the thing is, y'all live in Disney World so much that y'all ain't caught up to 2023. This shit ain't Disney World. This shit is real life. This shit is crazy. This shit is real life. People is out here doing scams. Y'all act like it ain't, I, everything is all real. Motherfuckers ain't trying to grab no money. People ain't doing dirty shit. Get the fuck out of here, man. Bill Cosby is not guilty of all that shit. They were getting hot with him, having fun with him, turning up with him. When they went broke, they started trying to do all this extra ass shit. Get the fuck out of here, man. I ain't turning on my heroes over these old fake ass money grabs, man. Straight up like that. And my and let and make that shit go viral. I ain't turning on my heroes over these lame ass money grabs. Straight up like that. You ain't finna turn my heroes into motherfucking all this weird ass shit you turn people into cause motherfuckers trying to get some money. This is why women don't come forward. No. If somebody did something to you, women, come forward. Tell them then, though. You know what I'm saying? Tell them then. Or around that, go tell somebody you love. Tell your mama. Tell somebody, please. But when you waiting all this time, to, and then you sue a nigga, you ain't go to the police, it sounds suspicious. It sounds fishy. Diddy is my hero. Get out of money. I'm talking about motherfucking Bill Cosby. I'm talking about black men who were successful. Yeah, I'm talking about niggas who ain't got it from nothing. That's what I'm talking about. So you get off the groupy shit if you want to be a, a, a goofball. Yeah. Call the police if somebody did something to you, man. Call the police, man. Straight up like that. It don't take that. You call and talking about something happened in the 70s, man. Stop the cap, man. Stop the cap, man. We from the streets. We know scammers when we see them, man. We ain't lame. I give a damn who mad. Yeah. I don't give a damn what no shade room. You must do what y'all gotta realize, man. I'm not in, I, I'm here. I'm, a, I'm in Miami on the beach, kid. I don't give a damn what y'all motherfuckers saying out there. Like, where are you at? What are you doing? You know what I'm saying? If you don't know that there's scammers out here, then you lame. <laughs> I'm not saying everybody ain't. I'm not saying that that ain't happened to her. I'm just saying that, hey, man, when something happened to you, say something about it. Don't wait five years and sue a motherfucker. Call the police or something. Don't motherfucking sue it because it sound, it sound fishy when you suing a motherfucker for some money. So you saying waiting long as fuck, you talking about cash, you know what I'm Whoever waiting as long as fuck. Whoever wait long as fuck, you shouldn't be waiting that long and then you shouldn't be suing. You should be calling the police about some shit that happened to you. The 
other girl, Virginia, lying to? Who is Virginia? I don't even know what that is. I'm not saying shit ain't happened, but if shit happened, say it happened when it happened. Don't wait 10 years and start motherfucking saying shit. You got skeletons in your closet. I ain't, if I was, why would I speak on some shit if I got skeletons in my closet? You must done something you just want to talk about. What the fuck? Why am I speaking on this if this is the issue? I'm just telling you, it's scammers out there, bro. I wasn't even talking to all y'all lames who pulling up today. I talked to the cult, bro. This is a... This is about 400 people I talked to, and I erase it after. For them people to screenshot what I said and try to talk, I don't even care about nobody outside of the code. I understand this, every, every single day I record what I say and erase it to keep it away from you lames. So if you just visiting, I don't give a fuck about your opinion, man. I'm talking to a specific person, a, a specific group of people who fuck with me. You know what I'm saying? All I'm saying is this. My, this is my opinion. If you don't like my opinion, cool. We can still sit down and have a drink. We can debate about this shit. We can do whatever. This is my personal opinion, though, to everybody. All right? Listen. If somebody fuck with you or do something to you, go tell the police then if you hurt. But waiting five years to sue a motherfucker and say you want to sue him instead of calling the laws, it sounds fishy. I don't hate you. God bless you. I hope you still live a credible life. I'm just telling you what my opinion is. That's it. It sounds fishy to me. Yeah, they be bopping them little and the, and them dudes don't ever post nothing but random shit like this. Like you know what I'm saying? Like I don't have no issue with nobody. I don't want nobody to. If you a victim to not speak up or no shit like that, I'm a clown because <laughs> I because I say some shit sound fishy because a motherfucker suing a motherfucker. So the money fixed the pain, I'm a clown. Stop the cap, man. Stop the cap, man. Come on, man. Stop the cap. You can say what you want to say. You don't even show your face. I don't, I have no respect. If you don't know, I have no respect for people who scared to show who, the, who we even talking. I block y'all all day, man. Baby, she didn't want to get the police involved. Isn't that what you rappers say? All right. She got her bag, so everything good. But I'm just saying, it didn't sound like no uh, abuser victim to me. It sounded like I needed that bag. And she got it, and everything good now. She fixed, everybody happy now, right? Let me see, I'm gonna read what you had to say. I really don't wanna talk to you, you ain't got no face. Do you know how much strength it takes to survive, live through abuse? You know how powerful Diddy is, money and power changes you. I don't know. I don't know none of that. I don't know. I've never been a victim of abuse. But I do know that it is scammers out here that just try to grab money from people. That's what I'm speaking on. Okay? All the people who really was abused and how your life was as a victim was hard, I have I have sympathy. Now I, you should call the police and shouldn't wait. If you know you shouldn't be just sitting around, you shouldn't be trying to sue a motherfucker. You should just get the abuser locked up so it don't happen to nobody else. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so yeah. This is all I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? So it's like this ain't even for y'all. I don't give a fuck about getting canceled or unfollowing. I don't care about no shit like that. Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Y'all can be mad at me for my opinion all y'all want. But at the end of the day, I come from a, the streets. And the streets taught me that it's, it's a lot of crooked people out here who really just want to fuck over you on the cool. And that's what it is. You know, and when you come from the streets, you think like this. You move like this. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, Man, I hope everybody go to church, have a good Sunday. I don't hate nobody. That's my opinion. That's my opinion. That's it. Shut up, you sound crooked. If you get counseled in your career, been 20 years. Exactly. Like, how am I get counseled, though? I mean, like, why would you counsel me for having an opinion? That's the problem with the world now. They be, oh, you got a different opinion? I'm going to counsel you. No, it ain't like that. I just got a different opinion, y'all. 
Not everyone is from the hood, exactly. So you don't got the street um, sense to know that there's people out here really just trying to get some money from you a lot of the time. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of how the hell I sound like a rapist? <laughs> you sound like a rapist said, how the fuck I sound like that? What did I say to give that? <laughs> this dude is crazy, man. This shit, I don't got no hits, right. Why you even watching? Exactly, let's get back to the coat. We got 700 people, it's about 300 extra people who don't be on here every day. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get back to me talking to my that's why see in the coat. Now this is a this is a perfect example of what I tell y'all every single day, man. I tell y'all this every single day, man. And y'all wonder why y'all be like, leave it up, leave it up, leave it up. I take this shit down every day because I know these people is gonna try to take my words and make them something else. See, we have so much of a daily relationship that they can't fool y'all no more, huh? They can't fool y'all, right? Because I tell y'all this every day. I show y'all, I erase this shit to keep motherfuckers from talking about me. And that's what they do. Still, one day, one day they like, oh, Slim Thug, we love you. You building, you building up the community. Next day, I say, man, I got a different opinion. I mean, I don't, I think it's a scam. They want to cancel you. <laughs> so you know what? I say fuck people, man. I'm going to just do me, man. I don't give a damn if y'all like me or not. <laughs> That's why I don't get too hype or repost y'all. Y'all be doing too much. Oh, I just, I just, you know, that's why I stand. What I tell y'all every day, Coach, the media, man. Stay in the middle, man. Stay in the middle of these people, man. Do not let these people hype you up. Just last week, I was hyped up. Oh, he built homes in the community. Now I have a different opinion. They like, oh, we gonna cancel this nigga. <laughs> so yeah, man. You know what it is, man. God bless y'all. I can't be out here on a Sunday and I go walk down this beautiful beach, man. You know what I'm saying? I hope everybody have an amazing day, whether we agree on anything or not. At the end of the day, I still love everybody. I still want everybody to be the best person they can be in life. We just different. I come from the streets, and when you're from the streets, you see a lot of people fuck over people, and you think with that type of mind frame of defense, like I tell y'all every single day. If you not, you're gonna automatically assume whatever you hear is the truth. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, you be whoever you is, I'ma be whoever I am. We all can be together in harmony. <laughs> God bless y'all, man. Have a blessed, uh, beautiful Sunday. Oops. I'm here to face my backlash. I'm here to... I'm here to face the backlash. That's cause I don't like me. Cause I had a different opinion than you. If you smile minded like that, you don't like me. Al D, whatever, bro. If you hate me cause we disagree on something, that's cool. We ain't gotta be friends. I don't need you smile minded people like that. I could be cool with people who I don't agree with on everything. It's cool. So if you can't be like me, it's cool. But what else? What else we talking about? What else happened? Everybody entitled to have their opinion. We can have a conversation, but y'all so smile mighty, y'all want somebody to die. If somebody don't agree with you, you want you want to shoot them in the face. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, listen, I had a personal opinion. I didn't even want my opinion everywhere. I ain't never been this famous. I don't know why people care about Slim Thug opinion all of a sudden. I understand now how sensitive the topic was because everybody putting what happened to them into this situation, but we wasn't talking about everybody. We talking about what happened with this, you know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, I'm here to face my bike, my backlash. I'm here to face my back. I ain't hiding from nobody, man. I'm right here. We can talk about it, man. We can talk about it. If you disagree with me, tell me why. And somebody actually, one of my homegirls did just, she DM me a story and I understood her story and it made a lot of sense. And I can understand that 
and I can see why people could get offended after she shared her story. I totally understand that. But at the end of the day, you know, uh, that was my personal opinion on that one thing. I hate that my opinion is spread everywhere. I, yeah, if you know me, you know I erase every live I do just to keep my lives from being on other people, you know what I'm saying, platforms. But at the end of the day, man, I'm here to face my back now. Let's talk about it. I agree with the Bill Cosby opinion, but yeah, Cassie, when she better off get paid, I would have one or two. And that's what I think. It, that was my personal opinion. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm sorry, we don't agree on everything. I can still take you to Starbucks and buy you a drink, and we can sit down and chop it up. Like, I don't hate nobody. I don't even hate Cassie. It was just my opinion. I ain't wanted to go worldwide. I don't do this to ever be on social media, other pages. I just be talking to y'all, my people. Yeah, you know, so, you know what I'm saying? I just, I don't hear every single day. I do this every single day. I just give y'all my opinion. That's it. I don't make that. I'm just speaking from, you know, my, my, uh, my, uh, seeing life and seeing what happens in life. You know what I'm saying? End of the day, like, but if I said something wrong, yeah. Say, correct me. Say something. Tell me. I'm here. I'm not running from nobody. Like, you know what I'm saying? But I don't agree with a lot of people on a lot of shit. But at the end of the day, we don't got to agree on everything to have a conversation. We, I ain't that small-minded. You know what I'm saying? So, to all the weirdos, this dude, they don't know about it. He hate black men, hate black women. I didn't even know Cassie was black. <laughs> Oh my God! I was like, "What?" I had to Google her race. <laughs> they said, "I hate black." I didn't even know she was black. Oh God! I swear to God, I Googled. I didn't even know she was black. Like, I don't hate nobody, man. I love everybody, man. I just had a pee, and I hate that my pain spread everywhere. You know what I'm saying? It's hot as fuck right here. Let me get the shade. Oh man, it's hot. <laughs> that was crazy, though. She not, they say, they said the comment, she, you have, you, y'all hate uh, black women. I was like, what? I didn't even know she was black. <laughs> oh, man. It's hot as fuck. But yeah, man, God bless everybody. Got they stuff that I own. Nobody better y'all keep me at. I'm just here to face my back last so y'all can just talk down to me, say what y'all gotta say about me now. You know what I'm saying? We can just let's talk about it, you know what I'm saying? And tell it's your daughter, sister, aunt, cousin, and you laughing sad you and sad you have influence, so what you say hoes way. I don't agree with that. I think I'm different than everybody. And I, I do agree with the part you did say I don't have a daughter. I'm the youngest, so my sister's always been bigger and tougher than me. I agree with that. And that's part of my, my reason of being so insensitive to it. Not just this, but a lot of stuff. See, y'all just showing up on here. If you was on here every day on Thugger News, you'll know I'm insensitive about a lot of things. And that's just what we, you know, uh, it's, it's tough love over here. And that's just where our standpoint come from. So, yeah, I agree with you on that. You right. I ain't, so, okay, we, you right. You know what I'm saying? Like, who is this clown anyway? <laughs> Why are you on my live if you don't know who I am? That's, who's the clown? I've never been on nobody live who I don't know who they is and asking them, who is this? You see what I'm saying? Have a conversation. You grown up? Have a conversation. It's life. We love it. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, I don't hide. I don't, um, you know, um, uh, think I'm perfect. I ain't Jesus Christ. Everything come out of my mouth ain't gonna be the uh, perfect or what I, you know. Everybody don't agree with everything I say. I understand that. I was at the club and, and you and you had been through some shit and you came to me and you say, Slim, that shit offended me. I would have bought you a drink, man. I would have said, you know what, my bad. Let me buy you a drink. Here you go. Have a good day. I'm sorry. But I ain't there, you know. When I see you, if you got a good conversation with me, you know, you, we can have a conversation. Now, I don't want everybody coming to me talking about this shit because I don't want to talk about this shit no more. But if it, if you if you fuck with me for real and I know you or some shit, or I, 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 you know, I have a conversation with you. 
educate me on the situation. Like I said, I don't have daughters. I'm from a, uh, the streets, so we don't have a lot of empathy and shit. We born out for trauma and street shit. You know, we seen a lot of snakes, so we think everybody trying to do snake shit. That's how we first think. That's our common sense, you know what I'm saying?